Yo, what's good, Chosen fam? Jay Chosen bring you guys another great video. If you're new to this channel, hit that like button, subscribe, ring that bell. So when the Lord is sharing a word with me, I get to tell you guys. The Lord said, have discipline. Have discipline in what he's calling us to do. Have discipline in doing everything diligently according to what he wants us to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis, such as reading the word, following him, praising him, worshiping him, and doing everything that pleases him. We have to have great discipline in being deeply rooted in God. And when we deeply rooted in God, Everything is going to go according to his plan and not the plan that we try to plan for ourselves. But his plan. Everything is going to play out the way that he wanted, not the way that we wanted. When we're not having discipline, it's easy to go down the wrong path. It's easy to be sidetracked and for someone to come in and say, hey, you should do this. No. But if we was di if we was deeply rooted and disciplined in the Lord, we wouldn't even be listening to that voice telling us to go that route. But we'll be disciplined in God. We'll be disciplined in everything that he's telling us to do. We'll be disciplined with following him and being a great disciple. And that's what he's calling us to be. That's what he's calling us to be. And each and every one of you are destined to do great things and to be a disciple of the Lord. And to be a disciple of the Lord. But are we going to own up to that calling? Are we going to actually follow the Lord and do what we are called to do? And be disciplined in his word and be disciplined in following him? Are we going to do that? Are we going to do that? And when we can do that and we can follow him diligently and being disciplined in everything that he has called us to do and everything he has called us for us, for our life, it's going to be easier for us because we're walking in our calling. We're walking according to what God has called us to be. We're walking in our authority according to Christ, according to Christ. God said, go out there and make disciples. Go out there and preach my word. And that's being a disciple. That's having discipline doing what God has called us on earth to do. Each and every one of you are special. Each and every one of you are special. When the enemy try to come in your mind and say, oh, you're not going to do that. You can't do that. You're not, you're not good enough for that. That's for that person. That's for that person. No. Because God has made you special. God has made you set apart and different. And to even feed into that type of thought, it goes to show that we're not having Discipline and following the Lord and reading his word staying in his presence worshiping him because we wouldn't even be getting into that type of thought We wouldn't even be entertaining that type of thought. It wouldn't even it wouldn't even have crossed our mind Because we're staying disciplined we staying Acting or living as a disciple of the Lord and everyone can see the fruit of it Everyone can eat off the fruit of it because when we're walking and talking as a disciple It's a reflection of Christ and they can receive it. They can walk in it. God said, go out and preach my word. Go out and preach my word. We are all disciples of the Lord. But are we really walking in our calling? Are we really walking and being true to who God has created us to be? That's a truly fulfilling life. Doing what God has called us to be. Doing everything that pleases the Lord and being disciplined inside of him. Because he wants the best for us. He wants that. But if we're not being disciplined in him, when we're not being disciplined for in him, it's so easy for our blessings to be delayed. It's so easy for things to be hindered. It's so easy. And I make that mistake. I made that mistake. I wasn't disciplined and I wasn't disciplined in what I was supposed to be doing with the Lord. And I hindered some blessings. And this was a blessing that was dear to my heart. And that's my fault. And I take full accountability and responsibility. But had I been praying, had I stayed in his word, that blessing would have never been hindered. And that was a special blessing. It was dear to my heart. And it was someone that I, I truly love. That I truly love. And I messed that up. But it's okay. Because I learned from that. And I'm going to pick my cross up and I'm going to keep going. Because that's all I can do. That's all we can do, Chosen Fam. But, uh... We, we got to stay disciplined and follow the Lord so we don't lose things, so we don't hinder our blessings. And sometimes it, it could be, it could be hard, but if we just put our best foot forward, God will meet us there. He'll help us because he loves us. He loves us. God bless you guys. Stay disciplined. Love you guys.